Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom content template like this using the improved block element module in GP Premium 2.0. So this here is actually the block page and each block represents a post. We have categories, comment link and count with an icon, post title, author with an gravatar image, read more link, and the feature image as the background. I'm pretty excited to demonstrate this, so let's get started. We will start with a default install of Generates Press with some demo content. Now let's go to Dashboard, Plugins, and make sure that we have GP Premium 2.0 installed along with Generates Blocks. Now let's go to Appearance, Elements, add new element and we will add a block element here. Under the element type, you can see that there are many new options here which I'll go through in more videos. We will start with content template. Now we've added some simple templates here which you can click and import. But today we're going to build our own. Let's start with a container block from Generates Blocks. We can leave the layout options to default. Go to spacing. And we will go with 60 pixels with paddings all around. Let's add 20 pixels of border radius. To use the feature image as the container background, we will click the dynamic options icon. And here you will see that we need to add a background image to this container in order to make it dynamic. So let's do that. Go to background and upload an image. It can be any images. Let's click the dynamic options again. And now we can set the dynamic background image to featured image. If you are using Generous Blocks Pro, you can also set the link to be the post so the entire container will be clickable. Now let's quickly add some overlay for the background image. Then we reduce the image opacity to let's say 0.6. Next, let's go ahead and add a grid block. We'll go with 50-50. Inside the left container, we will add a buttons block from Generates Blocks. We will leave the text as it is and again click the dynamic options. For text type, we will go with list of terms, category, and we want it to link to the term archives. Now 
Now let's quickly style the button a little bit better. Let's clear the background color also. And add some transparent hover color. Next, we will add another buttons block in the container on the right. Let's select the buttons container and make it right aligned. Select the button itself, click dynamic options, We will use comment number. Now you get the options for no comment text, which I'll just go with zero, singular comments text, one, and plural, we will just go with the number. We will link this to the comments area of the current post. Now let's quickly style the buttons again. And then add in our icon. Let's move on and add a headline block inside the container. We will go with H2. Again, dynamic options, text type, title. Link type will link to the single post of the current post. We'll style this headline block quickly. Next, let's add another container block in order to add the author gravatar and the author name. Go to spacing and we will remove the padding of this container. Inside this container, we will first add a dynamic image block from Generates Press. Type, we will choose author avatar. And we have some options here. I'm going to make the image rounded. Then let's add a headline block. We'll choose paragraph this time. Dynamic options. Text type. Post author name. Link to the author archives. And quickly give it some style. As you noticed, these two elements 
are stacked right now, we can make them inline by selecting the container which holds the elements and toggle on inline post meta items. Moving on to the last step, we will add another buttons block, change our text to read more, dynamics options, link type, single post of the current post. We will select the buttons container and make it align right. Add 350 pixels of top margin, so move towards the bottom. And now let's style the button itself. Now that we've completed the element itself, let's go to display rules. We'll select block and click publish. Now let's go take a look. So you can see here that the default post loop has been replaced with the element we just created. Keep in mind that you can still go to the customizer and use options such as columns. But these options here won't work as we handle that in the element module itself. Let's quickly turn off the sidebar so it looks better. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.